series of mathematics class 10 dear students in the previous video we have learned gst in a trading chain then what is meant by input tax then output tax and what is meant by input tax credit that is its so let's use this to solve the examples okay here we have a question from practice set 4.2 the question is nazma is a proprietor of a firm registered under gst she has paid gst of 12500 rupees on her case and collected rupees 4750 on sale what is the amount of itc to be claimed what is the amount of gst paid okay so dear student we are being asked to find out uh, what is the itc and what is the amount of gst paid okay so let's first uh, first write down what is a given so here input tax dear students we are knowing that when a trader is paying the tax gst at the time of purchasing it is called input tax so here it is given that she has paid gst of 12500 rupees on purchase so this 12500 rupees is the input tax okay then what amount of gst a trader is collecting at the time of sale that is called the output tax so here that is given collected 14750 on sale okay so that is the output tax that is 14750 rupees okay then we have to find out the itc input tax credit and gst payable so here input tax credit is small at the time paying the gst to the government by a trader then what amount the trader is deducting from the output tax that is only called the itc okay or in other words we can say the input tax but if the trader is collecting the output tax then only the input tax we can call it as a itc right so here itc for customer Will be the twelve thousand five hundred rupees. Okay, then we have to find out the GST payable. So we have a formula: GST payable is equal to output tax minus input tax. Or we can say ITC. Okay, so let's we we'll change it ITC. Okay, then. Output tax fourteen thousand seven hundred and fifty rupees. ITC twelve thousand five hundred. And uh, here it will subtract. We will get it at two thousand two hundred and fifty rupees. So GST payable for Nazma is two thousand two hundred and fifty rupees. And ITC claimed by Nazma is twelve thousand five hundred rupees. Okay. Now let's see the question number. Third. Amir Enterprise purchased chocolate sauce bottles and paid GST of rupees three thousand eight hundred. He sold those bottles to Agbari Brothers and collected GST of four thousand one hundred rupees. Mayang Food Corner purchased these bottles from Agbari Brothers. And paid GST to GST of four thousand five hundred rupees. Find the amount of GST payable at every stage of trading, and hence find payable CGST and SGST. So, dear students, in this question, there is a trading chain. Trading chain between the traders like Amir Enterprise, Akbari Brothers, and Mayan Food Corp. Okay. And we ask to find out the GST payable at every stage of this trade. Okay, so let's find out the GST payable by Amir Enterprise. So here 
for amir enterprise he put tax by purchasing that what else he paid 3800 rupees gst so that is the input tax and he collect 4100 rupees at the time of selling from the upari brothers so that is the output tax okay so itc for amir enterprise will be 3800 rupees okay now let's find out the gst payable gst payable is equal to output tax minus itc output tax 4100 rupees minus itc that is 3800 rupees okay so the difference between these values is rupees 3300 okay now we have to find out the cgst payable and sgst payable so we are going that cgst payable is equal to sgst payable which is equal to the half of GST payable. So, half of GST payable that is 300. So, half of 300 is 150 rupees. Okay. So, in this way, the GST payable for other enterprise is 300 rupees and CGST, SGST is 150 rupees. Okay. Now, let's find out the GST payable by the next step. Trader that is Akbari Brothers. So for the Akbari Brothers, what is it? His input tax. So at the time of purchasing the bottles from this Amir Enterprise, he paid four thousand and hundred rupees. Okay, so that is the input tax. And he collect he collect four thousand five hundred rupees at the time of selling from the my brother. So that is the Output tax. Okay, so I think this for our brothers is four thousand one hundred rupees. Okay, now GST payable is equal to output tax minus ITC. Output is four thousand five hundred minus ITC four thousand one hundred. So we'll get the GST payable four hundred rupees. So here also. CGST and SGST payable is equal to half of GST payable. So half of 400 that is 200 rupees. So here for this Akbari brothers, the GST payable is 400 rupees. CGST, SGST is 200 rupees. Okay. Now for the Mayan food corner, for him the input tax is given, but how much a tax did he collect at the time of saving that is not a mention. So we cannot find out the GST payable by Mayan food corner. So in this question, even the names are not mentioned, but from the given values we can understand that for a whose or which trader we can find out the GST payable. So here Amir Enterprise and Akbari Brothers for this both the traders they are Input and output was given, that's why we can find out the GST payable for these two traders only. Okay? Now let's see the next example. Malik Gas Agency from Chandigarh Union Territory purchased some gas cylinders for industrial use for 24,500 rupees and sold them to the local customers for 26,500 rupees. Find the GST to be paid at the rate of 5% and hence the CGST and UTGST to be paid for this transaction. So dear student, in this question, we are given with the purchase price, selling price, and rate of GST. Then we ask to find out the GST payable, CGST and UTGST. So dear student, now here new word is there that is UTGST. What is this? So here this gas agency is from the Chandigarh, which is the union territory. Okay. So generally whatever GST is collected by a trader that gets by permitted into the 
half into the CGST and half into the SGST that is state government right so here as there is no state government so instead of SGST there will be the UTGST that is Union Territory Goods and Service Tax okay so let's solve this example in the previous examples we were given with the input tax and output tax okay and we asked to find out the GST payable but in this question instead of giving the input tax and output tax directly we are given with the purchase price and selling price and rate of GST is also given so here first of all we have to find out the input tax okay that is tax paid at the time of purchasing okay so here input tax by Malik Gas Agency at, at the rate of 5% on 2400 rupees okay first that is the purchase price so 5% of 24500 is a if we calculate this then here 5 multiplied by 245 will get 1225 okay so this is the input tax okay now for this input tax this one will be the credit for the agency so ITC for money gas agency is 1225 okay now we got the input tax and ITC now let's find out the output tax. To find out the output tax, we have to use the selling price. Okay, selling price is given 26,500 rupees. So, output tax by the agency is 5% on 26,500. Okay, so here after calculating the 5% of 26,500, we will get it 1,325 rupees. Okay, so in this way we got the output tax 1325 rupees. Okay, now we have both output tax and ITC. So let's find out GST payable. GST payable is equal to output tax minus ITC that is 1325 minus 1225 rupees. That is 100 rupees is the GST payable. Then again we have to find out the CGST and UTGST which are half of the GST paper. So CGST is equal to UTGST which is half of GST paper. So here uh, GST paper we got 100 rupees so half of it is 50 rupees. So in this way Malik Gas Agency paid GST 100 rupees, CGST 50 rupees and UTGST 50 rupees. I hope the solution is clear to you. So dear students, in this video we have learned how to find out the GST payable when input tax and output tax are given. I hope all the solution, all the questions are clear to you. Thank you.